So the other day, I had my first tenant call out. So I'd just like to start off by saying, before I have a, a little rant, um, probably about my tenant, that when you are investing in buy to let, obviously, or any uh, property investment, you are providing housing at the end of the day. So obviously you are, and your houses have to be safe and everything like that. So when I, with my house, obviously I care about the tenant safety um, very much. That is one of the most important things. And you are providing the home. So I obviously want the house to be as nice as possible. And that's why I've been able to break the rent barrier on my street because I've made it nice for the tenant. But to get back to the problem and probably a little bit of a rant. So he texted me. Uh, so I was sitting there doing some work and then I got a video from my tenant on a, it was on a Saturday and it's video of the bathroom ceiling just covered in what I later knew to be mold but it was just black basically and um, immediately I've been thinking oh what is this like it's my first problem with the house and I'll be thinking oh what is this like how much is going to cost me like it looks bad is there a leak from the roof or something so the messaging back saying um saying oh can i come now like because i want I, when there's a problem i've got to fix it i'm not very good with no there's a problem and waiting like it's got to be solved and he was like no come on monday so that, that annoyed me a little bit because i was thinking you have almost if it's not a, if it's not a major problem why have you messaged me on the weekend because that's almost like it's ruined my weekend so that did annoy me but um because if it was a major problem, then obviously like, I'd go straight away, get it sorted, and he'd want me there, but it wasn't. So then I so then I had to wait till Monday. But what actually what happened was I was stressing at this point. And this is where having a network and meeting people who have been in the game for a long time helps. Because I've I've managed to make some really great contacts with landlords who have multiple houses. And I spoke to them, I sent them vid the video and I said, like, look at this, like, what is it? Because to me, obviously, it's my first buy to let. I literally like so dear and I want like I care for it very much and so I sent it to these people and they were like look just calm down it will be it'll be solved uh it, it could just be it looks like mold so it could just be ventilation problems or like there could be a leak which is obviously a worse problem but um we'll solve it so then eventually I went there on the Monday looked at it I was pretty shocked when I was looking at the ceiling like seeing all the mold because I've, I've never seen that in uh, like, I've never lived in a house like that and I was thinking oh my god like my tenant's actually been living like this and he said it's been like it for three weeks or like get into it and I thought I thought why didn't you tell me sooner three weeks like come on um if that was my house I'd be fixing it straight away if I was the tenant I would be trying to solve it so that did annoy me a little bit but um what I did was I went and got this I put the link to this product in my caption um is this spray from B&Q literally sprayed it on the mold and it literally like disappears instantly but what it turned like what the source obviously that just treats the mold but what it turned out to be the problem was that um like the tenant it's just not ventilated enough and the bathroom doesn't actually have an extractor fan so and there's five people having showers in this bathroom per day so it just so i told this tenant simple things like just make sure the windows open keep the bathroom door open don't dry any wet towels in there and um i try and wipe it down and i also bought him a dehumidifier so i told him all these things um and when i knew it was just mold i was a lot more calm basically and i'm gonna get an extractor fan fitted in there which should help the ventilation but um yeah it was a it was a learning curve um i learned and learning from the emotions of getting that text and getting like stressed and everything it was um definitely an experience but um yeah on the whole it was a learning curve and I hope he doesn't send me many more texts with uh, things that have gone wrong.